What's up everybody, I'm Nick and Divine 83 this is my channel. I pulled a little clip from a previous live video that I did. Joe Rogan went on his podcast earlier this week and talked about vaping again. There's just a couple things I wanted to fix up with what Joe Rogan was saying. Maybe bring a little light to other people's eyes that may not see exactly what's going on. So here's a little video I caught up. I explain a couple things in here. Enjoy. So this is from Joe Rogan 1839 Duncan Trussell episode. You can literally see that Joe Rogan has a vape right here in his hand. I fucking seen it. From I was listening and I heard it. I was listening at work on my fucking headphones. And I was like, did I just hear Joe Rogan pick up a vape and stick it to his headphone? Because I, I like heard the, the... I heard this. And I was like, that's a fucking vape, dude. That's a fucking vape. Joe Rogan just fucking picked up a vape. So I, I ran over to my phone. I opened it up. I was like, sure enough, dude. And it's a shiny one. It's a shiny gold one. All right. And they were talking about eating babies here. And then it got into vape talk. So you could see he's got three bottles of whiskey around him. He literally is as high as a kite. And he is talking to Duncan Trussell. Chances are... I don't know, dude. Chances are they probably took mushrooms before the show. Who knows? It's Duncan Trussell and Joe Rogan, dude. It's probably what happened. If I'm a betting man, I would say both of these guys are on shrooms. Um, a little bit of shrooms. Just a little bit. Um, I'd say the chances of that being right would be about 80% chance. It? Yeah. God damn it, Tony. Got me hooked on these vape pens. They're so good. You ever heard these tobacco... So he's talking... Are you kidding me? They give you a tremendous head rush. Can I try it? Yeah, they make you think better. Dude, I'm not kidding. No, I got... I'm not kidding. They're like a new... They, they do, do make you think better. I, I honestly believe that it stimulizes my brain to think a little bit quicker. Tropic. Tobacco, or nicotine, I should say, is a nootropic. Now, when That's I was probably not good for you. So I... I, I I leave them only two times when I'm bored. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> like if I'm on a plane, I can get away with it. Okay, this is where I start getting angry because, dude, uh, he leaves them to when he only he's bored. That's fine, dude. Maybe you shouldn't vape that much anyway. But, I mean, like, literally, I'm telling you he's drinking so much whiskey and smoking weed and fucking eating mushrooms. And if fucking somebody came on and said, hey, you want to do DMT, he would do DMT. And he'll stick anything else in his body. TRT, steroids, all this other shit. Even though they all have health risks. You know, it's just... Yeah. It's so good. It's good, right? The head rush. How's that, how's that feel? so good. That's nice, right? Yeah. And it's, you know, like when you're inhaling, it's like, it shouldn't taste like that. No. It shouldn't it, taste so good. What am I putting in my lungs? Well, the, the flavor I don't need, and they're outlawing the flavor, which makes me angry. Because it doesn't make it. The, the flavor, flavor I don't need, and they're outlawing the flavor, which makes me unhappy. That's... You're literally vaping it because of the flavor, I feel like. But you're saying you don't need the flavor. And then you're saying that it makes you sad that they're going to get rid of the flavor. It makes me sad they're going to get rid of the flavor, too, because I really like the flavor. And it's actually one of the, the points that drove it home to me to get off the cigarettes. And that was the end result. And that's that was my end goal, is to get off the cigarettes. So the flavor is kind of what did it for me any sense like why can i buy whiskey which i want to buy and Pop i can't buy, <laughs> come on man <laughs> why can i buy cotton candy i love cotton candy it turns your lungs in a like it, it, it bubbles your lungs it's bad that news. does yeah popcorn not, lung oh from that stuff by the not way i don't know to adam curry not according to adam curry okay okay i like that he this is the best part of the video where he corrects duncan trussell on that fucking false information He's going to go into this. Adam Curry is a, a fellow podcaster that came on that supports vaping tremendously. He's a good advocate for vaping. He supports it. Whenever he's on Joe Rogan, he, he breaks it down to Joe Rogan. He goes, dude, this is, ta this is about tax money. This is about, you know, pharmaceutical companies. It's not about what they're saying it's about. He tells him, this isn't like what you see. 
Um, he said that it was a uh, small batch of uh, marijuana vape pens that were uh. made very cheaply with like very inferior oils, and they they really fuck people up. And that uh, I think some people died from it, right? Like people that were like heavy users died. I have heard of people that um, got pneumonia from it. They were doing it all the time. Even young people got really sick from it. I don't think it's necessarily healthy. But you know the, the assumption. You hold on to it. I fucking love it. Give I was me, I was hooked on these things back. at one point. Give me they're back. the best. I love it so much. <laughs> no man, they're great. <laughs> now they're fighting over the fucking vape. That's fucking funny. It, like they're so so hyper addictive, but I mean, yeah, nicotine. It's like it definitely. Uh, it well, definitely, the shamans use it. Shamans use it all the time. They use it in the middle of ayahuasca ceremonies. Right. They blow nicotine. <laughs> yeah. In your face. But they're not doing something that tastes like cotton candy. But there's a. I know, but the the feeling is the same. Once you get past the taste of it, because the taste of cigarettes is this gross. Is, this is from lung.org. Even though we know that dicetyl, al dicetyl causes popcorn lung, this chemical is found in many e-cigarette flavors. Shit! The added e-juice liquid by some e-cigarette companies to complement flavoring, such as vanilla, maple... Coconut! Oh, vanilla, maple, fuck! Uh, coconut and more. So while dicetyl was swiftly removed from popcorn products since it could cause this devastating disease among factory workers. Okay. What what kind of quantities are those folks taking in? Unfortunately. This is not a, a slight on factory workers. That is a fucking rough gig. That's like coal miners getting coal lung. You know right. what I'm saying? E-cigarette users are now directly inhaling this harmful chemical into their lungs. In, in fact, researchers at Harvard found that 39 of the 51 e-cigarette brands contain dicetyl. Oh, fuck. The study also found two similar harmful chemicals. God damn it, I'm going back to dipping. Two, three... Yeah, man. Pantanidione and the CT... I'm sorry. Sorry, everybody. Acetone. 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 Uh, represent... Uh, <clears throat> present, rather, in 23 and 46 of the 51 flavors tested. And roughly 92% of the e-cigarettes have one of the three chemicals present. Imagine if this is the only time the government's actually really looking out for you. Yeah, but they're not. They're definitely not. They're actually trying to do the exact opposite. They're actually trying to force you to go back and buy fucking traditional combustible cigarettes. Yes, there's diacetyl and vape products. Way less than there's in cigarettes. This is the only thing that matters. Diacetyl has never given any vapor popcorn lung ever. And like, that's the only thing that matters. Nobody's ever gotten popcorn long unless they worked in a factory. This is something they failed, and this is something they'll do because the kids thing kind of works. And also, you're gonna see what Joe Rogan says here. Right. Imagine if they're really banning these. You mean with but they're not they're not banning. They're they're like leaving some alone. Like, they're leaving the ones that don't have flavor. <clears throat> I think. Imagine if that's real. I feel like they're leaving the ones alone that, like, were like... Look, thank you. I hate that he just cut him off there, because Duncan fucking understands. Duncan gets it. Duncan definitely fucking sees what's going on here. He feels like they're leaving the ones alone that are making them money. That's what he feels like. He feels like he, they're leaving the ones alone that are going to be profitable in the future. He feels like they're leaving the ones alone that are owned by big tobacco companies. That's what I feel. Delicious. It's the best. It's so delicious. Yeah, but you can't, you know, like, for whatever reason in the, in the world, there's like, there's these fucked up rules. Like, yeah. it's the same thing that where you can't, uh, it's hard to come on MDMA. <laughs> but here's the thing. No, I don't think it's the same. It but, is. But here's the thing about this. Is <laughs> it's funny, but he's got a point, though. It is exactly how we look at it, isn't it? It's we're giving up something to get something, just like when we were smoking cigarettes. Will it give me lung cancer later? It might. But I'll tell you what, this feeling's so good, and I'm an impulsive person, that I'm going to choose my satisfaction now. And I'm going to deal with my sicknesses when we get to them down the road, if we get to them. Same thing when you're taking drugs. Does MDMA feel like you're in heaven? Yes. Is it hard to fucking come on MDMA? Yes. It's, it's a pro and con. He's pro and con in it. Is vaping delicious, and does it make me feel good? Yes. Is there a possibility that it's addictive, and it's not 
a hundred percent good for me. Yes. That, that's we this is something that humans do every day. We do it when we have children. Will I have a children? Will will I have a children? Will I have a child? Will I um be able to raise this child? Will I be able to love this child and care for this child and feed this child? Yes. Will I have to be at work a lot to make a lot of money to take care of this child? Yes. Could something bad happen to this child in the future? Yes. I'm willing to weigh the pros and cons and still take that risk. It's the same thing with vaping. Does it have a little bit of diacetyl in it? Some of them, not all of them. Some of them. You can avoid the diacetyl ones very easily. I probably vape ones with diacetyl. 100% I probably vape ones with diacetyl. Um, that's just like the types I like, right? I just like dessert ones. Dessert ones are probably the ones with diacetyl. So, yes, I, I've weighed all these. And at the end of the day, what came out is... I did find out through studies that it is safer than smoking and that's literally all that mattered because I was I was willing to take the smoking risk you understand I was willing to take that smoking risk now I want to take a lesser risk for to get my nicotine there is now something available for me where I don't have to take so many risks. And that's what people really need to start looking at vaping at. They want it to get their nicotine without being murdered. That's all they want it. So, they said breathing in fire isn't good. We need to get rid of the combustible part. Not only that, but these tobacco companies are putting chemicals into the cigarettes to make them more addictive. And, they're li and then... They're putting them in them to make them more addictive, and it's killing their customers. And they keep putting more chemicals and more chemicals and more chemicals when all we needed was the tobacco. So, not only am I going to make it not combust, I'm going to get rid of all these fucking chemicals we didn't need. And I'm just going to use the very, very, very simple chemicals it takes to make vaping products. And this is why anybody can make them. It's because these are very, very simple, simple products. They are not, um, they're not filled with thousands of chemicals. This is something that the cigarette companies did to our vaping industry that I fucking hate. Is that now everybody's skeptical of everything nicotine. Anything nicotine now gets a fucking skeptical eye because of everybody that preceded us. All right? And we got to break away from that. You really got to just break away from that look. Another thing Joe Rogan said that I need to talk about is he said, oh, I'm just going to go back to chewing tobacco when he was reading that. And that's like exactly what they want you to think. Now, cigarette companies are putting chemicals in these cigarettes. Knowing damn right well it's going to get you more addictive. Knowing damn right well that the chemicals that are making you addictive will kill you. When you are chewing tobacco, people have a sense of security. Because they know, if I get gum cancer, I will see signs. I'll see sores. I'll start spitting blood. This makes chewing tobacco better in a person's eyes than smoking. Because when I'm smoking, I can't see what it's doing to my lungs. Okay, I can't see if when my lungs start bleeding, I'm probably not going to see it until I start coughing on blood. And this is the same thing they do with vaping, is they show you that there's diacetyl in it, and you could get popcorn lung, and that's very scary because you ain't even going to see it coming on because it's deep into your body. But chewing tobacco, at least you'll see fucking signs. This is the exact like mind game that they play with people, and I know people probably might be watching this and thinking I'm crazy, but it's literally what is going on. They're trying to make us fear something we can't see. Because if we can't see it, we can't prove it. And if we can't prove it, we can't tell you that it's bullshit. Okay? It's very, it's really very simple. The end answer is, it's easier, it's better than smoking cigarettes. And that's literally all that matters. It's literally all. I was a smoker, and I chose a better path. That's it. If smoking can exist, vaping should be able to exist too. Period. There is no other ifs, ands, or buts about it. I don't give a fuck about the kids, because the kids that are picking up vaping products were going to pick up cigarettes. 
it's what it is dude that's what kids do raise your kids I'm a vapor. I have a 16-year-old teenager in my house. Sometimes she brings friends over. Guess what? None of them are fucking vaping. None of them. And I can say that with full confidence. Oh, Nick, you don't know what they're doing behind your back. No, they're not behind my back because kids stay in nowadays and they're always on the phone. So when I'm watching my daughter in my house, I'm also watching her friend's kids on the phone as well. You understand? So no, they are pretty much in my supervision almost at all times. So, yes, it is possible to stop your kid from vaping, okay? That's not vaping industry's responsibility to watch your fucking kids, okay? Let's just watch the rest of this. It's like, the problem with these things is if you had, like, an absolute <laughs> regulatory body that looked at all of the ingredients and made sure everything was copacetic, and everything was pure and clean, and yeah. you know you're, you're not going to get any harmful chemicals. And then they sold it only, and that's it. That'd be okay. But it's kind of a renegade world. Right. It's like the world of vitamins, right? The world of supplements. Yeah. It's like kind of cool. renegade. You know, like you don't really, yeah. you know, who in the fucking who's? Yeah, it's kind of renegade because it, like they made it renegade, dude. Like this isn't what like most people wanted. This isn't what we wanted. You know, we didn't want to be this fucking renegade. It's just what happened. Now you gotta be. Now we gotta be renegades. That's it. That's what it is. What do you think? You were just gonna say vaping can't be sold, so everybody was just gonna stop. They're they're gonna just shut down their business and not make any money. Come on, man. We're in America. Test. test you don't know stuff. who whipped this shit up. Who knows? Who knows? You don't know. Like it's they, they don't, don't call, call us the West for nothing, nothing right? It's Wild West, West, dude. Don't. That's another thing about vapors, dude. Don't underestimate. Don't underestimate the um the drive and the determination of your fellow man. Like when when somebody tells you you can't do something, man, and you know you can do it. There's some people out there that will do anything to show you. They'll do anything to show you. Very stubborn people out there. There's very, very stubborn people. You'd be surprised what a little group can do, too. You would be surprised. It's a real thing. Absolutely, that is a thing. Not, it's not what we want. We would like it to be regulated, just honestly. Honestly regulated. That's what I would like. I would like. I think that there needs to be regulation in vaping. 100%. I don't think that we should just go willy nilly and be able to just sell whatever the fuck we want without government regulation. Is the government corrupt? Yes, but so are people. Okay? So are fucking people. Just because the government's corrupt doesn't mean that there isn't vape industries out there that are corrupt. And maybe sometimes they can't afford their Windex to wipe down their table. Or maybe sometimes they can't afford to have, you know, a shower to clean. You know, it's just like, sometimes people don't do the right things and they sell products. There really does need to be some kind of regulation. The problem with that is, is our government's fucked. It's just, it's fucked. It's so corrupt that we can't get that. We can't get it. It's almost impossible to get and that's where we get into the subject of being, you know, in the black market and all that shit, you know? That's that's why we get there. Is because they, they, they fuck us. They just fuck us. Genetic that's engineering. it. That's all Joe Rogan's got. That's all I got on Joe Rogan. I hope you enjoyed that. I enjoy doing it. I'm probably going to cut it up and make it... Alright, you guys, if you enjoyed that video, please hit like. I will be going live tonight a little bit earlier since I'm off today. I'm going to start at 5.30 p.m. Eastern time today. Usually, I run shows on Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern and Sunday at 11 a.m. Eastern time. Tonight, we will do 5.30 here on the channel, N.Divine83 YouTube. If you enjoyed this video, you could watch the full-length video by just hitting the link or whatever here or subscribe.
subscribe or watch another video I don't know there should be something on the screen around here that you click on one of them will be the video that this was taken from everybody enjoy the rest of your day and thank you for watching I am out peace